Hello guys, this is Ropas, this is my little studio, and today we'll talk about Robert Moog and the history of Moog synthesizers. The Moog and Mini Moog are two analog synths designed and manufactured between the mid 60s and the early 70s. Robert Moog was like the father of the electronic music because he invented the first electronic system who used transistors and electronic circuits to make music. The system uh, invented by him was basically to apply the physics of the electric energy because it was a physic to uh, synthesize sound waves. These sound waves then are modulated uh, into uh, proper music notes with a typical electronic sound. That's why the Moog synthesizer is considered properly a musical instrument. The Moog model is based on a chain who has a wave generator, a filter, an ampli, and all this process is managed by the ADSR system. The instrument basically has three types of oscillators who uh, generate the sound. Then the sound, made by an electronic wave, uh, goes into a mixer who gives the intonation. And during this process, uh, if you want, you can add a noise it could be a white noise or a pink noise then the sound goes into the filter which has the adsr system that control the type of the sound the adsr system is called like this because it's based on a attack d decay s sustain and r release and with these four parameters you can control the attack time of the sound, the decay time, the sustain time, and the release. So you can modulate every sound. Maybe in the future I will make a lesson about the ADSR because I think it's a little bit complicated. After that, the uh, sound goes into the ampli and then it goes out. I know, maybe it's a little bit difficult, the explanation of the system, but basically uh, Robert Moog invented the uh, sound with the electronic energy. So he is basically the father of the electronic music. By the way, the uh, fortune of Robert Moog passed through the application of the Moog system into the Mini Moog. The mid-60s Moog synth was, yeah, brilliant, but it wasn't very cheap. And it was big. So in the 1970s, he invented the Mini Moog, who was the small version of the Moog synth and more user-friendly for the musicians. So after the Mini Moog was commercialized, Robert Moog started to give that instrument to many famous musicians of that time. The jazz composer Sun Ra was one of the first musicians of using the Mini Moog for a proper track. Then during the 70s the Mini Moog became famous in the music industry because it was used by many many famous musicians like Emerson, Lake and Palmer, the Pink Floyd, the Deep Purple and many others. The first artists who used the Mini Moog as a main instrument were the Kraftwerk and after that in the 80s the house music and the techno was really influenced by this instrument. After many years of success, in 2001, the Moog Music update the Mini Moog, making a version called the Moog Voyager, who is still in sale today for like $2,000. Today in the market we have many, many synthesizers made by Robert Moog, like the Matriarch, 
the Model 10, the Grandmother, and today the Moog Music sells also the plug-in version of these physical synthesizers. But I think the history passes through the Mini Moog because the Mini Moog was revolutionary for that era. Okay guys, for today it's all. And as always, thank you for watching. The channel is going up really good, so I'm so thankful for this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. Put a like and leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Ciao!